other rabbis who actually go out there and say, just like this rabbi, who was runner-up to be chief rabbi of Israel, also the son of a former chief rabbi, when he was asked, if the regime in Israel is a Jewish theocracy, would a pretty woman be permitted nowadays as well as the, the euphemism for taking a woman captive in war and making her, forcing her to be your wife? Where is the respect for women? So women are war booty, that kind of life is worse than dying at war. I wouldn't want to be raped in someone's sex slave for the rest of my life. Better to die at their hands. This is the questioner asking this top rabbi. The rabbi answers, Now he's got to fight, and you shouldn't be preaching morality to him. Don't weaken his spirit. Far from his wife, cravings burden him. During war, he's liable to think about women and then not fight as well. If you forbid him from a beautiful woman, he's likely to get to the point where the Jewish people will be defeated. Okay, if you don't allow him to rape, he won't fight as hard, and all the Jewish people will lose in war. In that case, the Torah said, if it burns in you, take a pretty woman. Today, of course he's saying, oh, but that's all theoretical. Today, Jewish men have no desire for Arab women. Yeah, okay, I don't know where you're living, but that can be very easy to disprove just by going on to Pornhub and looking at their statistics of video views from Israel. Mia Khalifa, clearly very close to the top of the pack. I can assert that yes, Jewish men are attracted to Arab women, but um, that's, you know, that for me, in his conception, in his conception, he says, if you find one Jewish man who's attracted to Arab women, it's one in a million. And if you check that one in a million, you'll also understand why. That would be crazy. Only a psychotic, you know, crazy man would be attracted to an Arab woman. This man is the choice for chief rabbi by Naftali Bennett, the head of the Elimination Camp. Okay? He is the chief rabbi of the Holy City of Spot for the last 30 years. He earns a hefty salary for my taxes. This is Israel in 2018. Mm -hmm. 